So sometimes we need to control one object by another object, and this is especially useful when you're doing all sorts of uh, rigging, like, you know, you have a chain of bones that you want to control by a, a extra helper object, a point or a curve or something. So I select two objects and I go to Window, General Editors and... Con com sorry, not Component Editor, I go to... Where is it? General Editors and Connection Editor. What I want to do is say I will trans use translate x and I will connect it to rotate x. So this is p cylinder, this is p cube, and this is the one who controls on the right. So moving my cube in x will rotate the cylinder to to this other axis. Of course, you need to know the axis, and it's very finicky. You know, if I uh, this table now shows uh, the connection with these two objects, even though they are not selected. I can still uh, change that. Mm. Yeah, so controlling that controls this. And another thing we want to control is to basically to limit the control. So now it goes to infinity, but let's say that breaks, I don't know, mm, that's the finger bend, bend, and it goes to, you know, where the bones would break. So we want to limit uh, the rotation of this or let's say the movement of this. So here under uh, limits, limit information, uh, we choose in this case let's say translate and this is its original state and so let's say we will uh, have minimum and maximum that it can move. So let's say that it has minus 10 to plus 10 for instance. Now if I want to move it, see, it doesn't go beyond that, it doesn't go beyond that. Of course, I can change that to something else. Minus 5 might be. Uh, so it goes the same amount here, but twice as little here. So that, that again helps us control things.